Alright, so Dave Filoni has officially unveiled the Season 4 trailer for Star Wars Rebels today, and boy does it look good. I'll do a quick scene breakdown along with an analysis and my opinion at the end like usual. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. The first 40 seconds or so of the trailer uses footage from the previous season, with Hera narrating in the background. First we see a few shots of Ezra from both Season 1 and 3. Hera calls Ezra as a boy who was lost. Next is Sabine, a girl who was broken. We also see afterwards Zeb, Chopper, and Kanan, whom Hera describes as a survivor, war veteran, and a fallen knight. Hera is seen next piloting the ghost as she narrates that she was the one who led them all into battle against Thrawn, whom she describes as an evil so terrible it tried to black out the stars. Of course referring to Thrawn's orbital strike from Season 3's finale. The next few scenes are those of the Season 3 Antelon battle, where Hera continues to narrate about everyone fighting for each other, along with those who cannot, but she cannot imagine what would happen at the end of this all. Which of course hints at a darker series ending. We finally are shown different clips of Season 4 after this. First off with a scene of what it seems to be Ezra Sabine riding on what can only be assumed to be a force sensitive wolf. Sabine looks unconscious holding on to some kind of chest with her helmet placed over it. The location there it looks to be like Lethal at night. The ghost is seen here trying to outmaneuver a few TIE defenders. They had a lot of trouble with only one TIE defender in Season 3, so it will be interesting to see how they'll pull out of this situation alive. Ezra and Sabine are skydiving down together to what I assume would be to infiltrate or attack an Imperial property. Ezra is seen next on an Imperial airbase on Lothal trying to fight off a TIE pilot. What's interesting is the red markings on what it seems to be a TIE defender. A great shot of the ghost arriving on Yavin 4 in the Masasi temple as seen in the background. Kanan and Hera here are seen together having an intimate moment. I wonder if we'll see them kiss on screen for the first time here. Most likely they're heading into some kind of dangerous situation and they aren't sure if they'll survive it cool scene of Sabine's Mandalorian army ready to head for battle. We see Ezra present here as well, most likely to help out Sabine. Sabine is putting her dark saber to use and slicing an Imperial speeder bike. Hard to tell the location, but I'd assume it's the rebel invasion on Lothal. Bo-Katana makes her rebel's debut this season and is seen here blasting through a TIE fighter with her jetpack rocket. A Ewing is seen here engaging on an Imperial light cruiser. Possibly saw Guerrera piloting the U-Wing, as we did see a shot from the Rebels panel of him and two tubes in a U-Wing. This seems to be a new planet, but the light cruiser is seen going down while an Imperial base right underneath it is blowing up. I suspect this may be from that Saw-focused episode. A night shot on Lethal with Stormtroopers moving towards Hera with two Imperial assault hover tanks on scene. A quick glimpse of Saw Gerrera, now seen with his grayed out hair from Rogue One. Another night shot with Ezra, Chopper, and Sabine, with her Mandalorians flying towards some kind of dome. I'd like to believe this is still a Thal, but it's hard to say. Bo-Katana taking off her helmet, most likely her first time meeting up with Sabine and company. Our first look at Ruck, who is Thrawn's personal assassin. He's seen here on a speeder bike chase with what I'd assume to be Ezra and Kanan disguised as scout troopers on Lethal. Interesting to see that Rook will be using a J-19 bull rifle as his main weapon of choice this season. As I doubt we'll be seeing Kallus use it anytime soon. Wouldn't be surprised to see Rook and Zeb fighting each other sometime later. Funny little clip of Chopper smacking a stormtrooper with a baton. Seems to be during the Lothal invasion. It's hard to say who this is, but very likely a new rebel character, part of the rebel cell in Lothal, or it's maybe Sabine disguised like the other rebels. She seems to be fighting a probe droid underground in the sewers. A cool shot of Bo-Katana, Sabine, and Ezra fighting off several Imperial Mandalorians, possibly on Mandalore. Another shot of the presumed Lothal invasion, with Hera and Zeb disguised as Lothal citizens firing at a stormtrooper squad. Sabine and Ezra fighting on top of that Imperial light cruiser seen before on that foggy planet. Sabine using her dark saber to strike an Imperial Mandalorian's rifle. Hera is seen here trying to outrun several Tie Fighters through an Imperial mining colony. She seems to be using some kind of smaller freighter. 
Pretty risky of her to be using light speed through that hangar to get away, considering there's so much more space around her, but a cool shot nonetheless. She absolutely destroys that hangar. A look at the Masasi Temple on Yavin 4, with the Ghost crew conversing amongst each other and Callus interrupting them. Our first look at Callus now living as a rebel. Now, with no Imperial Protocol, means he could really let loose of his hair. Literally. A quick glimpse of Saw smacking a Stormtrooper. We still see that he has his original legs here, though. Kanan with a jetpack in what it seems to be on either a Star Destroyer or an Imperial base on Lothal. Kanan again standing on Lothal with his lightsaber out, as it seems to be some kind of transport coming towards him. We see that wolf again, in a cave in Lothal meeting up with Kanan. It really does seem like this will be some kind of ancient force sensitive wolf. Rook again fighting against either Ezra and Kanan in disguise, or two regular scout troopers he's possibly misled to believe are the rebels. Another shot of Ezra on that Lothal Imperial airbase fighting off against a TIE pilot. Look of Bokatana and Sabine, whom looks to be in some kind of distress. The freighter here looks to be exploding right under a Star Destroyer. I'd guess it might be Sabine's explosives doing the job. Beautiful shot of the Imperial blockade above Lothal, with some kind of new ship approaching it. Might be the rebels in disguise. Ezra seen here entering a hangar on an Imperial light cruiser with a battle ensuing between Sabine's Mandalorians and Imperial troopers. Likely from that episode with Saw and the Ewing. Close up shot of the Imperial Assault hover tank on Lothal attacking the Ghost Crew in disguise. Here's a look of the disguised Ghost Crew jumping out of their hover car after it got attacked by the hover tank. A Death Trooper commander running through a corridor. Thrawn trying to shoot down a TIE defender on that Lothal Imperial airbase again. Wouldn't be surprised if it got hijacked by Ezra. X Wings! Finally, we get to see some X Wings on this show. I'd assume this is another rebel cell coming to the rescue out of Lightspeed, or I wonder if we'll get to see an origin story of how the rebels acquire the X-Wings. Seems like Hera is piloting one of the X-Wings here. Several damaged Y-Wings heading back to Misasi Temple on Yavin 4, probably after losing uh, some kind of battle. An interesting shot of Bo-Katana raising the Darksaber as the Mandalorian army kneels down towards her. Sabine and her mom standing right behind her, I wonder if Sabine ends up giving Bo-Katana the Darksaber to keep. Finally, we get an ending shot of Hera telling the camera, May the forest be with you. Probably right before the beginning of their Lothal invasion. So that's the Season 4 trailer. Of course, it is the only first half of Season 4, but pretty good so far. Quick analysis has me believing that Ezra will be the first to end up helping Sabine and her Mandalorians with their problems, as a thank you gesture for them coming out to help out during the Battle of Antalon. After successfully helping the Mandalorians out, we might see them helping the Rebels out on the invasion of Lothal. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we got to see a lot of Lothal again this season. Thrawn will also be based out on Lothal this time too. So far, it all looks like a fun ride, and I can't wait for Season 4 to start. Considering this is the last season, you know that Felonian crew won't be holding anything back. It's going to be a really dark season, and considering that some of Rebels' best episodes were indeed dark, we're in for a real treat this year. Well, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown and see you in the next one.